The Tragic and Final Days of David Niven David Niven was born James David Graham Niven on March 1, 1910 in London, to William Edward Graham Niven and his wife, Henrietta Julia. He had three older siblings. His father was an army man, as were both his grandfathers. His father was killed during the World War I in 1915. His mother remarried Sir Thomas Common Platt in 1917. It was rumored that his mother had been having an affair with Sir Thomas even before the death of her first husband. Some sources suggest that Sir Thomas may well have been David Niven's biological father. David grew up to be a naughty boy who loved playing pranks. He was sent to the elite Heatherdown Preparatory School from where he was expelled due to his mischievous behavior. He then went to Stowe School, following which he attended the Royal Military College, Sandhurst. He graduated in 1930 with a commission as a second lieutenant in the British Army. David Niven was assigned to the Highland Light Infantry. He served with the Highland Light Infantry for more than two years but did not enjoy his job. He was promoted to lieutenant in 1933, but did not see a future for himself in the military. In addition, his rebellious streak was also causing problems in his career. He quit the army and traveled to different places in search of a more interesting profession. After spending short terms in Bermuda and Cuba, he finally arrived in Hollywood in 1934. He struggled a lot initially, though eventually he was able to find minor acting roles in films. In 1935, he was cast in Mutiny on the Bounty and his performance gained the attention of independent film producer Samuel Goldwyn, who signed him to a contract. Over the next few years he appeared in several supporting roles in major films like Rose Marie, 1936, and The Prisoner of Zinda, 1937. His reputation as a reliable and talented supporting actor led to leading roles in The Dawn Patrol, 1938, Three Blind Mice, 1938, and Wuthering Heights, 1939. A popular actor by now, he shared the screen with legendary performers like Errol Flynn, Loretta Young and Laurence Olivier. Britain declared war on Germany in 1939 and Niven returned to his homeland to fight in what became the World War II. He was recommissioned as a lieutenant in the Rifle Brigade in 1940 and took part in the invasion of Normandy. He ended the war as a lieutenant colonel. He resumed his acting career after the war and played the leading roles in highly successful films such as A Matter of Life and Death, 1946, The Bishop's Wife, 1947, and Enchantment, 1948. His career flourished throughout the 1950s as well. In 1956, he starred as Phileas Fogg in producer Michael Todd's Around the World in 80 Days, and portrayed Major Pollock in Separate Tables in 1958 for which he won an Academy Award. The 1960s saw him acting in The Guns of Navarone, 1961, The Pink Panther, 1963, and Where the Spies Are, 1965. In 1967 he played the role of Sir James Bond 007, a legendary British spy, in Casino Royale. A highly active individual, he continued acting well into the 1970s even though he was aging by now. Some of his later movies were Death on the Nile, 1978, and The Sea Wolves, 1980. He met and married Primula Primi Susan Rollo in 1940. The happily married couple was blessed with two sons in quick succession. Tragedy struck the family when Primi died in a freak accident in 1946. A few years later he married HJRDIS Paulina Tersmeden, a Swedish fashion model. The couple adopted two daughters, one of whom was rumored to be David S. secret love child with a teenage girl. David Niven began suffering from health problems during the early 1980s. He was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis in 1981 and after ailing for several months, sadly, he died on 29 July 1983, at the age of 73. 
Goodbye David Niven.